In this video, I'm going to share with you some tips about PowerPoint. So let's get started. Before I start talking about today's topic, I would like to say that please watch full video in order to get better learning experience and subscribe to the channel if you have not yet subscribed. All right, so let's talk about today's topic. The first step I want to share is changing fonts. Changing fonts is very important and keeping one font throughout the slides is also very important because you want your slides to look professional. So how, how do you do that? For example, you have a PowerPoint which has multiple slides and each slide has different font. Maybe you are a student and you group of student and each one of uh, the student in the group have created a separate slides and they have used their own fonts according to their likes and that's okay but if you're combining all slides into one PowerPoint presentation you should change the font so instead of going through each slide by slide and checking font and changing it what you can do is you can change the font in one go how do you do that you go to power uh, powerpoint presentation you go to home home tab and you go to editing section and you click on replace and there will be a drop down and you click on replace fonts now if i will see there are two options here replace and with so we want to replace these fonts so you can see different fonts are used arial calibri Cambria, Century Gothic, Rockwell, Tahoma. So we want all of these fonts to be replaced with Century Gothic. Okay, so we'll uh, first select Arial and from here, first we will select Century Gothic. So that's the font we are looking for to replace. Okay, this is the font, we'll select that and we'll click replace. Now, visually, the, you might not have observed any change, but trust me, any font that was Arial is replaced with Century Gothic. Now, let's go ahead and change other fonts as well. So, we want to replace Calibri with Century Gothic. We want to replace Cambria with Century Gothic. We want to replace Rockwell with Century Gothic. And we want to replace Tahoma with century gothic now just to uh, add on a little bit uh, for some reason arial will still show up even though there is no font in your entire presentation with the name of arial but i don't know what is the reason there might be some glitch or something i have no idea about it so arial will still show up but do not worry rest show that all the fonts have been replaced with your liking so to verify i will double click on this font and we can see century gothic this is century gothic as well you can verify in randomly in different slides also so second tip i want to give you uh, about aligning objects or text lines so for example we have these three objects and a couple of text lines but they are not aligned and it doesn't look professional even though you're a student but it will not look professional if you have this kind of uh, setup on your slides so what we can do if, uh, before i knew this option i myself used to manually drag and drop and you know manually do all the stuff so instead of doing manually what we can do we can select all okay sometime get selected sometime not so we'll select all and then we'll go to home tab and from here we'll go to drawing section and we will click on arrange and if we'll come down we'll see align and there are a few options align left align center align right and a couple of more so we are interested in aligning it left so once you click you will see that the objects have been aligned on the left side now you want these text boxes to be aligned on the left sides as well so we can select all the text box let's try to select if we are able to select 
and some of them have been selected some of them we will select manually now we will go to home tab drawing section again arrange and align and we will align left so you can see nicely aligned text boxes and nicely aligned objects now it looks much better and i'm sure you all are agree with that so this is how you align objects and text don't do it manually it will just waste your time use the option align from the home tab under drawing section tip number 3 i would like to give you about um copy paste you know, duplicating the object so we have this object traditional way is that we will select the object we'll press control c and then we'll press control v and that object will be copied and we can move around and fit it where we want in the slide but there is a better way of doing it and that is control d d for dialog so how to do it so instead of so we'll select the object instead of control c i will press control d a duplicate uh, copy will be created now i will align this object according to my requirement and let's say i want to create two more objects so simple as that you press control d twice and these two uh this object will be duplicated multiple times so that's how you create duplicate copies instead of using control c control v the benefit of using control d is that you will have equal spacing in between which means you don't have to do it manually it is automatically spaced out there is another alternate way of doing the same operation or getting the same outcome and that is control shift we will press and we will drag and drop so i'm going to show you how so select your object all right this object we want to create three more copies of this object so select this after selecting press control shift on your keyboard keep it pressed and then drag and for example here you want to drop keep it pressed control shift and then leave it together okay so this is the copy duplicate copy that is created now to create two more objects you click uh, sorry press control y twice and two more objects will be created so you see similar outcome but a different way of doing it so uh, you choose whatever option is is suitable and convenient to you but this is a very good uh, option to do it fourth and last step of this video i want to share is while presenting there are some of the things that you can do now not only preparing is one part of the presentation but presenting the presentation is, is another part so if you are someone who is presenting uh, or if you have seen someone presenting you must have seen they have the clicker something in their hand and they move the red light on the slide to highlight the different areas or different graphs or different things on the presentation but if you are sitting on a computer you can use a lot of tools to present it more effectively so bring your cursor on the slide and right click here and then on the drop down you will see pointer options so you can see laser pointer pen point pen you have and highlighter different ink color that you can use for example you want to use laser so you even if you don't have a pointer in your hand you can use laser from the powerpoint so you can highlight uh, you can point out different areas which you are talking about or which you are explaining to the audience now let's uh, right click again we will go to the pointer options and this time we will choose pen and uh, we can for example you are a teacher you are teaching someone online or in the class but you are teaching on the powerpoint you can use the pointer to or pen to uh, mark some of the areas for example you are teaching students excuse my drawing so this is how you can use these tools 
the other tool I would like to point out, which I use quite often, is the highlighter. So select the highlighter. Maybe you want to highlight some of the text or objects and you can use the highlighter to highlight the different stuff. Another another uh, bonus tip you can say I can I uh, I will tell you for example you have this presentation and you want to quickly hide uh, the text and object and everything on the screen so if you like the if you want to make it black out just press letter B on your keyboard and everything will be blacked out and press any other key to bring it back or if you like white color then you press uh, W key on your keyboard and everything will be hidden and if you are ready and comfortable press any key to bring your presentation back so these are some of the tips and tricks for the PowerPoint to make you pro while working at PowerPoint um, there are a lot of new innovations every single month or every single year a lot of improvements are coming in Microsoft Suite, so which is good thing for us as a user. So I hope you have liked this video. If you have liked this video, smash the like button and uh, share with me in the comments below. Uh, what did you learn? Whether this was helpful or not? And uh, subscribe to the channel if you have not yet subscribed and hit the bell icon so you get a notification whenever I upload a new video. Alright, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.